Hey y'all, it's me Tyler and I was speaking to one of my friends and she would want to know how I built my confidence, what makes me me, and how am I just so, um, I guess a tie-dye and how am I so open and free and confident with myself. Okay, so first of all, let me get out a few misconceptions. I am self-conscious and I'm really, really hard on myself and I actually do care what people think. Oh my God, I guess I'll start from the beginning. This is tough. I've never really shared this story with anybody who wasn't important to me. Well, y'all are important to me because y'all my tie dyes. I guess that's why I'm telling this story and I wanted to touch somebody and I want, you know, that female out there or male, just if they feel like they experience something like this, then I want to help somebody. So we're going we gonna to start from kind of the top. Okay, so Miss Tyler, it's Tyler. I grew up uh, and screw up, if that's what you want to call it. But like in the beginning, my first memories when I was like five or six or you know, young, however you are, however old you are when you start remembering stuff, I was being abused. And them were, and you know how they say you remember the bad stuff as opposed to the good stuff. And those memories, as I got a bit older, eight, nine, and my mom had to go overseas to Korea, so we went to my grandma's. And those memories resonated with me from a short those few short years ago and then when I started you know really remembering things when I was there at my grandma's house it was as if you know I had a lot of love and affection everybody loved me I stayed with my two uncles and my sister my grandma and her husband and you know it just seemed like I was the youngest and everybody was all in their own little different world. You know, of course, I got taken care of and loved and attention and stuff like that. But I'm a victim of abuse. And I'm just not, you know, I just, I'm a kid. And I just, I kind of felt like Matilda. Like the world was going on around me. And I was just me. And nobody's like, watch, I don't know what to do. Stuff like that. So, and then I was overweight. And I all I could remember was feeling like I was watching a movie. Like, it wasn't really me. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm watching me. You know, and I just, I, I had a lot of life. I was fun. I was goofy. I was, you know, I was a, a it seemed as if I was a regular kid. But inside, I'm, I'm fighting this battle that I ain't about to win no time soon. And I'm feeling ugly fat and confused and you know people don't like me I was getting bullied a little bit that's when the bullying kind of started because I'm a victim of bullying too but anyway uh, that's when it kind of started and I just you know and the way I felt at around 7 or 8 that's what that set the course for a long time up until adulthood or something like that but it just made me very self-conscious and very you know afraid of what other thought others thought about me and I did not love myself period so when I got into middle school I started to act out um I was sexually active I was sneaking out I was disrespectful and I was just confused and at this point I had blocked the abuse out my mind now I'm just a insecure little teenage girl and I'm just you know I'm 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 winging it you know I'm I'm I I got this fake confidence now like I I got this confidence cuz I'm sexy I got some little hips now I ain't nothing but 12 11 you know I'm just I'm I'm gathering it from something you know like somewhere and it wasn't real so I'm 
I'm trying to talk to boys. I'm trying to do this, that, and the third. And really, I'm still hating myself. I'm hating me. I'm hating Tyler. I still think I'm funny looking. The gap, the freckles, all of that. I just was like, hell no. Inside, I was like, no, girl, you're not cute. Nobody loves you. You're not lovable. And, you know, I'm not even thinking about the abuse at this point. I'm just all these little emotions going on in my head. Fake confidence and no self-worth at all. And those, it's a combustible combination, honestly. And, um, so when I, so I kept acting out in middle school and stuff like that. And my mama sent me to boarding school. And it was probably the best thing she could have ever did because it made me really tap into what was going on with me, my emotions and how I felt. And I wasn't really thinking about how I felt. I wasn't thinking about the abuse or nothing like that and what really touched me when I went to boarding school it was this sexual trauma group and the girls who experienced sexual trauma they would meet once a week every Wednesday and we would have a group oh my god I'm about to be I'm about to cry think about it but that group really changed me because it showed me that you don't have to keep living in that. That's what made me insecure and made me not love myself because of my abuse. And, you know, it helped me. And when I came back home and I was about to, you know, get ready to start high school, you know, I did good in high school. I didn't act out. But I still was feeling insecure. But at this point, I made it my business to be myself and beat myself up about it later if that makes any sense and that's still true to this day now because i'm i am self-conscious i do worry about what people think sometimes but i don't already i don't already said the shit so it ain't gonna i mean what can i do what can i do i don't already i i don't already force myself to be genuinely tyler so whatever the backlash come after that i know that i was just myself and that's what everybody got to do. You got to be yourself. Don't don't wait and worry about what this person going to think, what that person. You don't need any outside validation. Because as long as you love yourself, that's the most important. It sounds cliche, but the, it's true. It'll keep you out of non-working relationships, non-working friendships. It'll keep you out of a lot of stuff because you got to love you. And in high school, that's when I developed like, you know what? I'm going to be me. And I can't, I can't feel bad about it later on because when it, at times when I tried to act different, act like somebody else, and it didn't come out right or something like that, I felt bad. I felt like I was, you know, slick dissing myself, and I couldn't feel like that no more. I had to just be me. I gotta be loud. I gotta be. I gotta walk crazy. My walk is real crazy. That's what everybody tell me. But I gotta do it. I gotta be myself. I gotta. I got to be myself and you got to be yourself. If you a tie-dye, don't let nobody make you feel like you're not important. You too weird. You too this. You too, you ain't too nothing. You too yourself. And a lot of people who will judge you, they're not being genuinely them. So you worried about an opinion from somebody who worried about everybody else's opinion. How that work? You can't do that. You can't worry about what other people going to think too much. I mean, it's natural human nature to worry about, you know, this person may say this, something like that. But don't dig deep into it. Do not dig deep into it because most people are insecure. Most people are. So you can't even worry about people that's insecure. You got to worry about you. And you know what? One thing I always say about me is... I beat myself up so much and I'm so tough on me. I can't worry about your negative thoughts. I got to fight mine in my head. You want me to fight your negative thoughts and, and mine? That ain't going to work. How that's going to work if I'm trying to take in what you said and take in how I feel? No, I'm going to take in how I feel. I'm going to take in how I feel. And, and if I feel like I need to change something about me, I'm going to change it. And you just got to really love you, basically. And that's how I became confident Tyler. And it's not and it's not all confidence. I'm going to say fearless. I wasn't, I'm not fearful of being me. Because my confidence goes up and down sometimes. Sometimes, I'm, I mean, hey, I'm human. I don't feel confident all the time, but I'm fearless. I don't care. I don't care because I know at the end of the day, I just, I was genuinely me. And that's the most, y'all just be fearless. 
if you a tie dye, be fearless because you have it the hardest. Because you so different and you were and you looking at everybody else and you like, dang, should I be like that? No, don't be like that. Be you. Be different. Be fearless. Oh, 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 oh